Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm just Adams, and I'm going to show you what's in my tackle box for fishing. First up, I'm going to show you my rod. Here it is. I got maybe a maybe one gram sinker, a swivel, and a dark red hook. I've used this a lot. Okay, I'm going to bring my tackle box up. So you can see it. Yep, let's go there. Okay. First up, what we have in here is the swivels. I have different types of swivels, different strengths and sizes. First up is these type of ones. These are my silver swivels. I have, I have lots of those. Other I have gold swivels. Oops, sorry. Gold swivels. I love these ones, I use them a lot, but I'm using silver ones right now. Just to have it. Then I have swivels onto this thing right here. I don't know what this called is, but I'll search it up in some of my later videos. Every time you have to go fishing, you always need to bring a knife. Like a, so you can gut the fish and uh, cut your line like that because you don't have anything to cut the line with only if you have a pair of scissors. So I have spare string. It's a blue string or blue line with maybe 25 kilograms of weight can be added to it. Then all the other stuff I have, different weights of sinkers I have. They're really heavy-ish. Those are there. I have my boyers. Put these on my rod. And see if I catch a fish with it. Other way is these. These are actually really useful. Because if a fish tugs on the line, like if I put it up there because it drags on it. So I put it on, I'm not trying to hook it on, up there, then I push it down. Then, where a fish gets it, it starts to jiggle. So that's why I use it. Okay, take this off. That's what I have. But most importantly, the squid essence, I use it a lot. In CFS, uh, that's a video, those are the YouTube channel of my friends, you should watch that. I'm in one of those YouTube channel, in his YouTube channel for one of his videos. And I'll show you some more of my stuff in my tech works when I turn it around, okay? Okay, so welcome back. First, we have one of these. This is a Japanese type of one. Uh, this is for squids and other octopuses. I don't use this until only if I go offshore or anywhere else. I'll show you my hook collection and all my other collections of stuff. So first up in my collection that I have not come out of the bag is the sinkers. These sinkers are seven milligrams, no, gram miller, I don't know. But they're a good brand. I have got lots of things from this brand right there. So yeah. Next up is some of these hooks. So these are hooks from the same brand as those sinkers. I sometimes use these, but they're way too small. So it's like white for whiting and other fish that are small. Secondly. Thirdly, I mean, these, this brand isn't really good because they give you, don't give you as much stuff as you need. So these hooks, I like the last ones. You barely even use them for only smaller fish. Oh, and next, lastly, uh, these glowies. I don't know what these are actually called. Uh, they're blurry beads, beads, red, red plastic tubing. I think you put that on your line for more strength and 
Yeah, I think so. Another thing from the same brand is these hooks. They're a bit bigger than the other hooks we have shown you. These hooks are the ones I use a lot. Uh, more little hooks from the other brand. And some really small hooks for biting and other small fish. See right there, there's things right there are smaller hooks, like those are really small. Lastly are these, I call them the devil hook. I don't know why I call it the devil hook because it just looks like the hook he uses to hurt people. So I just call them the devil hook. So I'll put those back in. I'll show you my fake bait supplies I have. First up is these fake plastic fish bait with fish oils in here. Uh, these I haven't used before, but I'll see if I can use these because these actually, they look really, they feel like they work really well to me, I think. Next is these other fish plastic baits. These have fish essence and fish oils. Uh, I don't recommend using these because these are not really sizes for other big fish because this is like a light snack. But they'll still eat it, but it's just, you won't get much stuff on there. But I really recommend using these. These are plastic baits, fake monsters. So these are small. And I think they're like trying to make it look like a yabby, I think. Well, these actually work pretty well. Like, they look good. Fish go like, oh, that's a weird color. Looks like it's dying. Well, it actually is a bit, yeah. Because it has fish, et fish oils and monster oils in it to make it more smelly. So that's my fake bait. Now to show you my small tackle box I have. I take this everywhere, literally. In CFS videos with Graham, I took this with me. They come with one thing of these, lots of these, one sinker, and lots of hooks. Like, um, lots of hooks. Like, it's insane how many hooks. But I have different sizes of hooks. So this is big size, medium, and I got small right here, right there, small. Okay, let's do that, and that gives that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you hit that like button, you can see more of my videos. And uh, if you'll notify, if you hit that bell, smack down on that bell, you'll hear, see more of our videos coming out soon. Thank you very much for watching. Adam's Creative Works.